What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Miniocalypse and Happy New Year. So today's the first day of 2020 and we're gonna relax and recap to 2019. So while I recap, I'm going to paint a mini the way I did the very first time on a budget. We have a practice mini, a block of apple barrel paints my mother got me for Christmas. The paints we started with. So let's dive down to the table here and we'll get started. Enjoy. So here we are down at the table, nice and organized. And we're gonna get to cracking. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is base coats. We'll get those started real quick. Get some gray on here. Just got our paints thinned down. We're just keeping the brush going along. Trying not to rework any areas. My rule is to try not to go over an area more than three times, just to move on, let it dry, come back to it. I'm gonna hit this with some green. Then we're gonna go in at the skull with some antique white. That green was Kelly green, by the way, decent darker shade of green right in between get that a little too thin but it'll be all right and we're going to go ahead and get a coat on the base while we're at it just so it's there i'm going to add in some spots of brown and we're going to go over it with the red Okay, so just like that, we got base colors. We're gonna let those dry. Okay, so while that's drying, I'd like to talk a little bit about what we got going on in 2020. We have some commissioned minis, commissioned by a longtime friend of mine, asked me to paint his miniatures for him. So I believe he tried to pick the smallest ones he could find we got some Dwarven Warriors and some Gnome Wizards or Sorcerers. And this as well, we got started on this. Getting ready to go in on some details. Yeah, as you can see, this is a regular size and that's where the Gnomes come in. All right. Okay, so we went in on the base coats three times, let them dry. Now we're gonna do another simple step, a wash. Just got a real thin black wash over here, just black paint, water, about 50-50. And we're just gonna wash it right down the tombstone here. Just like so. And anywhere else where we want some dark accents. Cracking the skull here. We'll just hit the whole skeleton. 
yeah, it's going to darken them. That base coat will keep it a little light. And you'll see what happens with the next step. This is just these are, this is how I started learning. Once again, just showing you. We're just going to drop some paint down in the RIP. Just like so. Just being careful. Get some of that a little darker there, a little darker. So what we'll do is we'll follow these cracks a little bit. This is what I like to call a selective shading. I just use a wash and I apply it where I want it specifically. Get the back side here real quick. It won't take long. Drop it in there. Drop that paint right on in there. We're gonna hit that area. You can even go through, and hit some of them holes if you want. The more details you pack in there, the better it's gonna look. The paint's thin. It's like layers of tint. So we're gonna let that dry all the way up. Then we're gonna go in on the last step that I had learned when I started. I started with three simple steps. The base coat, the wash, and you'll see what's coming up. Okay, before we get started on that last step there, I'd like to take a minute to show you some new products I found. I really like these. Turbo Dork metallic paints, and they have the paints that transition colors as well, the color changing type of paint. So let's see what these look like. We're just gonna, I don't condone animal testing. We have this cat here. We're just gonna drop some right on them. That just happened. All well will continue for a second. that kitty drive and clean up this paint I got everywhere. Okay, we got that mess cleaned up. Like I was saying, they got these shakers in them. Really nice, really shiny. They go on really good. It's not all the way dry yet, but here's what we're looking at. Just a quick uh, example. I'm, I'm loving them. I'm hoping to pick up a bunch more. Okay, and the last step I started and learned with is the dry brush. We're going to go through that step here. Start with the skull. I use a soft makeup brush now after testing a bunch. That's what I like. You're going to get little paint on there. You're going to dab most of it off. What I do is I test it on my finger or the edge of your base or something. Make sure not too much is coming off. You want it to just hit the high points. And then we're just gonna go one direction. And we're gonna just get the raised areas of this skull. So 
See how it's doing the ground here? Here's an example. Try some of this limeade green. Accent the grass here. See what it does. That's a quick dry brushing. And I'll show you how we do some quick cleanup. And uh, we'll call that table ready. Okay, before we get started with the, how I clean those up, talk to you a bit about this little guy here. What we're gonna be doing with him and a couple others is we're gonna be practicing our speed painting. Entered us a competition for a two hour speed painting at a local gaming store of mine. So we're gonna be practicing up for that and hoping to go win our first competition. So there you go. Here's a good 2020 update. Here's some of my 2019 work. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the future. Get ahead to watch my videos. Like, subscribe, and let's get us a great 2020 going on. Okay, quick uh, kind of clean up here. We're just going to go back in with our base colors. And we're just going to do what I call a stipple what they call a stipple green here where we messed up and got a little green just gonna hit it like that it's gonna add some texture kind of blend kind of hide the mistake a little so you don't have to completely go repaint it if you're just aiming for tabletop ready i'll go in and add some more rough spots just stippling it in there just lightly tapping the brush. If you were to send in Morse code to your buddy, just tap it on there. Back's fine. We'll lighten this up a little this direction. Try to bring those out some. Again, we'll do the same with the skull. Oops, bashed it a little. We'll go in, bashing up everything. A little too thick of paint. So we'll probably have to give this guy another wash now, but this is the kind of thing that can happen. Focusing on the higher areas, because this is going to be a more brighter shade once it all dries. Stippling it, create a little texture. Help trick the eyes a little bit, make things look smooth. Overall transition better, not so much smooth. We're going to go in on his eyes with some black. Just get in there a little bit. That's black right off the palette. Now I'm gonna grab my black wash and just drop it in there and let that kind of do what it's gonna do with the pigments. We'll hit up the teeth again. Just let the paint drop right into the cracks. It'll do its own work. We'll just dab these up here. Final step for me is the base. We're just gonna top that base off with some brown dry brush over the red. And there we have it. Nice little tabletop ready. Throw it out in your dungeon. Your players, Dungeon Dragons, Pathfinder, whatever it is you got going on, maybe you're Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that little video. A little bit of where I started from earlier in 2019. I've only been at this for maybe, I'd say six months. And uh, here we are, 2020. Good luck to you all. I'm hoping to progress with this and we'll get going. Oh, if you've been following the Facebook, don't forget. You can win one of these miniatures hand painted by me. I will take my time, I'll base it, it will look good. It will look good. And uh, yeah, that's for our 100 Facebook page likes. It's a big milestone for me. It might not seem like much to most people, but it is important to me. I'm just trying to make my way through this. Also, there is a running poll. I think there's still a week or less on it. 
for one of these Star Wars models. Go ahead and vote on one if you'd like. Pick which one we're going to do some point in the future. Got the X-Wing. And the ATST. All right, so once again, thank you from Miniocalypse, and I hope you guys have a wonderful 2020. See ya. Like, subscribe. We'll be around.